And now, here with an unlimited supply of information, is Mr. Know-It-All. When our last episode was switched off in utter disgust by over 37 million anxious viewers, those two wrongs, Burris and Natasha, were proving they couldn't make a right. A right bad idea. Think, Dolly, think. There must be something really rotten we can do today. I'm thinking. But the worst I come up with is helping to make Moose and Squirtle show one hour longer. Oh, just like you, darling. Always trying to help others get a little more pain out of life. Then suddenly a thought struck him like a 20,000-volt charge. Boris, you have great idea. No, but I have defective cord on electric pencil sharpener. I have it, darling. A contest. I like being evil because, in 25 words or less... I like it, I like it. Boris, Boris Badenov, where are you? I'm up in a tree. Boris, did you get blown up by your own grenade again? No, I'm up here robbing birds' nests. But why? It keeps me off the streets, that's why. About ten feet off. Oh, we're not starting out this story very well, darling. Ho, ho, ho. One little setback. Nothing. Moose will never reach Washington, Natasha. I'm going to use strategy on him. You mean strategy, darling. No, strategy. I'm going to stretch the rope across the door and fasten the end to trigger of the shotgun. And when Moose comes out the door, what is it? It's tragedy. tragedy. You said it. But Boris was wrong again, for when Bullwinkle came out, he didn't just trip over the rope, he fell over it. Boy, a good thing you fell, Bullwinkle. That thing went off right over your head. Let's look on the bright side, Rock. It missed. Not quite. And so, in a little while, Rocky and Bullwinkle were on a train headed for Washington. Gee, I'm worried, Bullwinkle. The reading of the show down again? No. That's odd. There have already been two attempts on your life. Yeah, but don't worry. We'll be renewed. I'm not talking about the Bullwinkle show. You better. We can use the publicity. I'm talking about somebody back there trying to get rid of you. Oh, that. Well, they already missed me twice. Yeah, but you know the old saying. You mean everything comes to him who waits? No, I mean the third time's the charm. There's another one, too. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. For just ahead of the train, Boris was approaching the tracks with a long crowbar. Boris, to get Moose and Squirrel, you will wreck. A whole train? You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs, Poopsie. And Boris started to pry up one of the rails. <laughs> As fate would have it, though, this particular railroad was powered by electricity, and when Boris's crowbar touched the third rail... <laughs> hey, Rocky! Mm. A feller just went by who was all lit up. We must be next to the club car. Oh. And so our heroes traveled across the country unscathed as Boris continued to light up the landscape. Well, darling, you failed three times in one episode. I know, it's a new course record. You look pretty stupid, darling. On the contrary, Natasha, I never looked brighter. Well, thank you, Mr. Know-It-All. 